this is Cece and today's Midnight Minute is on the specs and settings for Windows. So if you go to our website and go to Shop All Games and then scroll down to Midnight in Salem and you keep scrolling down you'll see on the right side there's all the platforms that we have where you can purchase the game and if you keep scrolling down you'll see the system minimum requirements for Windows so you do need to have Windows 7 64 bit or later next you're gonna wanna run a DX Diag report go to the search bar in the bottom left hand corner and you'll type in DX DIAG so when this pops up you'll click on save all information and you can name it whatever you like and put it in any spot that's easily accessible for you once it's finished and in the spot that you'd like you want to open it with notepad and you'll see all this information so you'll have your processor you'll have the memory the operating system direct X version so you'll want to use this DX Diag report and compare it to the minimum requirements for Midnight in Salem to see if the game will run on your computer so once you make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements and you're still encountering issues with getting the game to run smoothly you can adjust a couple different settings in the advanced settings window your first instinct might be to automatically set the graphics on high but it really depends on your computer. If none of the presets seem to work, try adjusting the settings as follows. I'll be leaving all the advanced settings down in the description box of this video as well. First off, you'll want to change the graphics to custom. We're going to skip the resolution for now or else it'll keep changing back on us, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. Keep the V-Sync on, texture quality low, you can keep the filtering on, anti-aliasing will be at low as well. We can skip the real-time reflections, but we'll want to change post-processing to low. The shadow should be at soft, and the shadow quality should be at low. Once this is all finished, you can go back up to the resolution, and you'll want to change it to 1440 by 900, or 1920 by 1080, whichever you prefer. And then go back to the main menu, and you should be good to run your game now and have it run a little bit smoother for you. For a list of updated recommended specs, please visit the Midnight in Salem product page at herneractive.com and be sure to check out our FAQ page for more help. Thanks for watching this Midnight Minute. Feel free to contact us at techsupport at herneractive.com. We'll see you next time.